Hey everybody, Andrew back again with another video and today we have another unboxing. The UPS man dropped this baby off. The Dell XPS 12, a two-in-one Surface Pro competitor. Let's unbox this baby and find out what's inside. Got my knife? Let's find out what's inside this box. So I ordered the Dell XPS 12. I wanted something to compete with the Surface Pro 4. As you know, I have been testing HP Spectre X2. I just recently unboxed the Lenovo Mix 700. Now we have the Dell XPS 12 2-in-1. Now this does come in a 4K configuration, but I elected to go with the 1080p. It has 8 gigabytes of RAM, and I believe it has 128 gigabyte SSD. The reason I went with the 1080p display is because of the battery drain that was reported on the 4K model. I love a 4K display. I recently reviewed and unboxed the Dell XPS 15 and gave it a positive review. Check out my video for the unboxing. and. This one has a 1080p display. I decided to go with the 1080p display for the simple reason of battery life. I love 4K displays, but for battery life to me is at a premium, especially on a light two-in-one device. Let's see what else is in the box. That's about it. So there it is. That's the Dell XPS 12 1080p version. Now I did order a pen from Dell. Good packaging. And let's get this baby open. I did order a pen and the pen is on its way. It's already been shipped. I got it for less than $50. I believe I paid with 10% off, 40, I think $46 and change, something to that effect. Anyway, here it is. This is the Dell XPS 12. It comes with a folio case, which is a nice touch. It's got a cloth feel to it, pretty nice. It's got a little bit heft to it and let's see what's and if I can get that open and there's the looks like the back so the tablet go, does go in there here's the tablet itself and there you can see the front we'll get to that in a moment and here's the keyboard now there is another keyboard available this is the fixed hard keyboard it's got a nice build quality feels like good travel I believe it is backlit that's good Nice trackpad on it. We'll test that out. We'll do a full test of this device. And this is, the, again, the case that's a little bit different. This is one fixed angle. Let's see how this goes. This is one fixed angle. And as you can see here, this will slot in like that. We're going to get to the tablet in a moment. I just wanted to see how that looks. Now, let's, see, let's also see what else is in the box. Here's your power cable and your power supply. There it is, three prong. And let's see if we can see what it is. Looks like it's 30 watt power supply, nice and compact, good for traveling. As you can see here, it's a USB type C. So it draws its power from there. And again, it has two USB type C ports. It's looking pretty good. Now this is some documentation that comes in the box, quick start guide and some warranty and safety information. We've seen all this before, put that aside. That's it for the box. As I mentioned, I did order the pen. The pen is on its way, the Dell Active Stylus. I should have it by next week and I will do a video of the pen, the unboxing, and use it with the Dell XPS 12. Now this is a 12.5 inch display. Let's take that off for a second and put that to the side. There you have a Windows capacitive button right there. On the bottom you have the keyboard connections, pogo slot. A headphone jack is there, headphone microphone jack is there. Okay, there we go. Microphones on the top. On the side, you have a volume rocker up and down. You have an SD card slot right there. Let's turn it around so you can read it. You have Thunderbolt Type-C, two of them, and one of them is for charging. So there you can see for the charge. Nice touch. On the other side, you have a Kensington lock port and you have the power button. A webcam on the front there and you have a webcam on the back. So we'll list all the specs shortly. This is the 128 gigabyte SSD, eight gigabytes of RAM, 1080p display. Now let's take off the plastic. Gotta love that sound. 
there it is, 12 and a half inch display. So there it is without the case. We'll put the case to the side. We'll go look at that a little bit more in a minute, but it goes into the magnetic slot like that. So there it is in its keyboard dock, keyboard case. Now there is only one fixed angle, unlike the Surface Pro line or say the HP Spectre X2, another two in one. This is one fixed angle. So you're limited to this. Now they do sell a separate keyboard case that does allow for different angles, but I'm not sure about the travel on that. I'm gonna to try to get my hands on one to do a review. Now this has a Core M5 processor. It has 128 gigabyte SSD, a 1080p display. Again, I elected not to go with the 4K display due to the battery drain that a 4K UHD display will cause. Let's see if there's any juice inside this and we'll be right back. So we're booting it up for the first time. There's the Dell logo. And so far I'm loving this build quality. It really seems like it's nice build quality. It's got a rubberized back. And I don't know if I showed you the back. It has Dell branding there. It has the webcam there. But it does have a nice rubberized grip. Very good build quality, solid construction. Like I mentioned that you have a speaker there and a speaker there. So two top facing speakers, front facing as well. So now you've seen this a million times, we'll be right back. So as you can see, it's fully booted up and the screen I have to say is very good. It's got very good viewing angles, nice brightness, crisp, nice bright display. I really did love the 15 inch Dell XPS UHD display, but I didn't want to go with a 4K display on this simply because the reports have been that the battery life has been subpar, very poor actually. So hoping I'll get a few more extra hours out of the 1080p display. So there you have it. Pack it up and go. It does fold up like that. Thickness wise, let's take a look. There you can see it as it's all together. It's not the lightest thing in the world, but again, pretty nice feel as far as solid build quality is concerned. Well, here we are with the Dell XPS 12 and the Lenovo Mix 700. Both are Surface Pro 4 competitors and they are very similar in a lot of respects. They both have the Core M processor. The Lenovo Mix 700 has a Core M7. I elected to go with the top of the line Core M7. It's got eight gigabytes of RAM and a 256 gigabyte SSD. Whereas the Dell XPS 12 has a 128 gigabyte SSD and it has eight gigabytes of RAM as well. Now they both come with the keyboard. The Lenovo Mix 800 is not backlit. The Dell XPS 12 is backlit. They both, uh, the Dell XPS 12 has a 12 and a half inch IPS 1080p display. Whereas the, the Lenovo Mix 700 has a 2160 by 1440 resolution. So the higher display resolution on the Lenovo Mix 700 and the Dell has the lower resolution, although it is available in a UHD 4K display for a couple hundred dollars more. However, it does take a hit on the battery life. We're gonna put these two head to head very soon. But one thing I do wanna try is whether or not the Lenovo Mix 700 pen works on the Dell XPS 12. I don't know if it does. I think they both use the Wacom technology as far as pen is concerned. So let's take a look to see if the pen works on the Dell XPS 12. Now keep in mind, I did order the pen from Dell, but I wanna see if the Lenovo pen works. And so let's try it. And guess what? It works. Let's take a look at OneNote. And there we have a page. And let's just do a quick uh, test of OneNote with the Lenovo Mix 700 pen. And it works very well, very responsive. Good pressure sensitivity. I'm gonna get the official Dell Active Stylus in next week, but this will be very interesting to see how this works so far, working very well. Uses the same Wacom pen technology. So right out of the box, you can use the Lenovo Mix 700 pen.
So we're going to put these two head to head. We'll do a showdown between the two of them. We'll see which one is the better of the two. I can tell you that the Dell XPS 12 has a 12 and a half inch display and has slightly smaller bezels than the Lenovo Mix 700, as you can see. As far as keyboards are concerned, the Dell has a bigger trackpad than the Lenovo Mix 700. The Dell has a backlit keyboard, the Lenovo doesn't. So there are some differences between these two devices. They're very similar in terms of size and weight. So we're going to put these two head to head very shortly. We have a lot of exciting things coming up here on AMD Tech. So stay tuned for, for all these exciting things that are about to happen. We have uh, unboxings coming. We have more reviews. So stay tuned. Next up is the Lenovo Mix 700 full review and the head to head competition with the Dell XPS 12. So stay tuned for that. So until then, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.